Hello everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am Jared Hinkey, the MLS coordinator at KAAR, here to bring you another edition of Tips and Tricks. In this edition of Tips and Tricks, I'm going to go over how you can create a subscription for your buyer in Flex MLS. We will start out with a quick search. I will enter in some quick search criteria. So my buyer is looking for properties between $200,000 and $400,000 in Knox County. With my search criteria set, I can now click on save towards the top right and then save search. This is a new search, so I'll leave the save type as new. I'll give the search a name, type in a description so I remember what this search is about. And I can add it into either an existing contact or add in a brand new contact with a name and email address. I'm going to work with an existing contact and I can either type in their name or their email address to pull up that contact. Now I can click on save and add subscription. The subscription will send automatic emails to your buyer whenever a new listing pops up on the market that fits the search criteria. I can decide if I want to get a copy of those emails as well. I do want my buyer to receive those. I can get a notification whenever my buyer clicks on a link from those emails. And I can enable preview mode, which will allow me to approve listings before they're sent to my buyer. I can add in another contact to also receive those subscription emails. And I can pick the schedule either weekly, monthly, or as soon as possible. I can give those emails a subject line and I can type in a message for the body of that email. Keep in mind, whatever you type in under body will go out with every single subscription email update. So be sure you keep it generic. If there is a message that you want to send to every single buyer, you can save it as a template. So I'll click on save as new, give it a template name. And the next time I set up a subscription, I'll have that template. Now that I'm ready, I can click on save and my buyer will now receive those subscription email updates. To email the listings currently on the search to my buyer, I can click on email these listings now. If I want to manage the searches and subscriptions for my buyer, I can go to the menu, contacts, and then contact management, click on the name of the buyer, and then you can head over to searches and subscriptions. On this page, I can see every search that I've set up for my buyer. There's the search I just made. I can edit the search criteria by clicking on edit. I can see there is a subscription over here. I can remove that subscription by pressing on the red X, or if I click into the subscription, that will give me an option to edit some of the details about the subscription. Finally, I can track down what all subscription emails have gone out. If I go to the menu under contacts, I want my sent emails. Click on subscription here, and I'll get a record of all the subscription emails that have been sent. That is everything I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and keep an eye out for more tips and tricks videos in the future.